This is D Hunter, bring another action figure review today. We're about to look at the McFarlane Retro Batman Classic TV Series 1966 comic spin-off Lord Deathman. And not only that, but this is the Platinum Chase variant. I believe this figure is glow in the dark. This guy's eluded me for a very long time. Unfortunately, Target never got this wave. GameStop had him, but I missed my chance to get a platinum one at that point. So I had to resort to eBay, and I really have a certain price I don't like paying over, so it's been a long time since I've been watching and watching and waiting and watching and waiting and finally made some best offers and got this figure for the price that I wanted. Well, not exactly the price I wanted, but the price I was willing to pay. Anyway, long story short, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see at the top, DC, McFarland Toys, Age of 12 Plus, Batman, 66. This is the comic spin-off logo. Here's Lord Deathman. He has sort of a skeleton outfit, but this one is in glow-in-the-dark green colors. He also comes with a samurai sword. This is the Platinum variant, McFarland Platinum Edition. It's been a long time to hunt for this guy. On the back side, here's Lord Deathman. Here's a bunch of Batman characters from the comic, and it looks like his barcode is covered up with some other barcode. Lord Deathman is an obscure bat rogue. Those are the kind of bat rogues and characters that I'm really into. I love the obscure, crazy villains. He was never in the TV show, simply the comic, but they gave us a chance to get this figure. So with no further ado, let's open him up. And yes, I did get two of these figures, one of which to open and enjoy, the other one to keep unopened in my complete Batman and related unopened action figure collection. In addition to that, the second one here actually has the traditional barcode on it in case that helps anybody. But keep in mind, this barcode is 100% the same as the non-platinum version, so it really won't help you track down the platinum one, but maybe a regular one. And here he is, next to the regular version of Lord Deathman. Lord Deathman is typically in the black and white skeleton outfit. This green one is not accurate to anything, but it's a pretty cool variant nonetheless. Alright, now that this figure out of the package, here he is with all the accessories laid out. He doesn't have a lot of accessories, but he has his sort of samurai sword and a removable cloth cape. Before we look at that, let's talk about and check out the figure. So this is Lord Deathman. He's an obscure Batman villain. He was first introduced in Batman number 180 in 1966. Lord Deathman is a Gotham gangster. He's skilled at yoga, and he's able to enter a death-like state faking his own death. So a lot of time, Batman will think he's dead, and, of course, he comes back every time. In the newer comics, he's supposed to be unkillable and immortal, but that's a little far-fetched, although, then again, he's from the Batman 66 world, so far-fetched indeed. He was never in the TV show, but he was in the comic spinoff. And this is the Platinum Chase variant. This one is glow-in-the-dark with a green skeleton and a black outfit. So let's take a look. Start with his head here. It looks awesome. It's a skull. It's got green teeth. You can see the black around the teeth, the black eyes, the black nostrils. Let's go further down. He's got this green skeleton on top of a black suit. He's got a blue belt. Gloves are also blue. He has a cloth soft goods cape. Single jointed elbow, single jointed knees. I love the fact that they finally made a Lord Death Man. These are the type of figures I really want. Obscure bat villains that have never been made before. Two thumbs up to that. And a closer look at his face and head sculpt. It's simple, but great at the same time. And then here's the figure, broken down as far as he can go with all of his removable parts detached. Now let's check out his accessories. And let's start off with his cape. He has a cloth soft goods cape here. It's done in that old school style with a little plastic ring around the neck. Beyond that, it looks pretty good. Here's Lord Deathman without his cape on. And then here he is with his cape attached. And now for his sword. This is a samurai sword. This one is green. I believe it's going to go in the dark. The handle has a nice little sculpting detail on it. Here it is. Next to the standard version of Lord Deathman's sword. And here's Lord Deathman holding that sword. Now I wanted to check out his glow-in-the-dark features. Here's Lord Deathman in a fully lit room, glowing-in-the-dark, fully charged up. And here he is in a semi-lit room, glowing-in-the-dark. And here in a completely dark room, glowing-in-the-dark. Now I wanted to check out the differences and similarities between this new Platinum Chase variant of Lord Deathman and the original version. And besides the obvious paint differences, they're 100% the same figure. Same sculpt, same articulation, so let's take a look. 
Start with their heads. Looks fantastic. I do prefer the more traditional look because that's how he looks in the comics, but this is a pretty cool variant. I actually really like the idea. I think it's great. This one is black and white traditional skeleton, and this one is green glow in the dark. They both have the blue belt, although his buckle is also blue, his is white. They both have the blue gloves and the cloth soft goods cape. I really like both these figures a lot. Now they're taking a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories. Now for his height. From bottom to the top of his head, standing right at 6 inches tall, which can translate to just over 15 centimeters. And now for his articulation, which is a little bit limited as this is a McFarland retro figure. So with his head, of course, you can rotate from side to side. Can't really look up and down or tilt from side to side. Shoulders on a ball joint goes out way more than 90 degrees. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. He's got a single jointed shoulder, goes in about 90 degrees with rotation. His wrist, simple rotation. Torso is one solid piece. Waist swivel. Old school style hips, forward that much, back about that much. He's got single jointed knees, 90 degree bend, once again with rotation. And that is about it. Still really happy to have Lord Deathman in the collection. Here's a look at Lord Deathman leading some of his henchmen down the streets of Gotham. And then, with even more henchmen, Tons of supporters following his cause. And then, even more henchmen. Who would have thought Lord Deathman, a villain no one's ever heard of, had such a large gang at Gotham. And then here are both versions of Lord Deathman, the Platinum and the Regular, leading their entire army through the streets of Gotham. Here's Lord Deathman, with the rest of the McFarlane's 1966 Batman villains. They're in the villain's lair, plotting against Batman, teaming up. Now check him out, next to some other action figures. Starting off with some other McFarlane 1966 Batman figures. Here he is, with the rest of his wave. We have Robot Batman, Lord Deathman, Joker as Batman, and Superman. This entire wave is based off the 1966 comic. Kinda cool, they can bring new and different characters into the mix this way. The only other 66 figures that are specifically for the comic is Batgirl and Two-Face. Here's Lord Deathman, next to that previous wave of 66 figures. We have Batgirl, then Batman and Robin with their oxygen masks. Then. With the previous wave, this is wave 6, we have King Tut, Two-Face, and a radioactive cow Batman. And now, with the previous wave, Black and White Robin, Egghead, and Black and White Riddler. Each one of these waves has at least one standout character, and at least one dud. Egghead was a standout of this wave. The next wave, King Tut and Two-Face, then Batgirl. And then, I'd say this new wave with Lord Deathman is a solid home run. Here's Lord Deathman. Next to McFarlane's 1966 Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. And here he is, next to Mattel's Batman, Robin, and Batgirl. Here's Lord Deathman, next to the traditional Joker, Riddler, Penguin, and Catwoman villains from the 1966 show. These are the McFarlane versions. Then, next to the Mattel versions of these same villains. Here are all the different 1966 villains McFarlane has made. From left to right, we have the Joker, Riddler, Penguin, and Catwoman. Then things get much more interesting as we continue on. Lord Deathman is from the comics, was never in the show. Mr. Freeze from the TV show. King Tut and Egghead from the TV show. And both brand new, never released before Batman villains in the 6 and 7 scale. And then Two-Face from the comics. There are a ton more villains they can do from both the TV show and the comics. Although... Rumor is, the next wave is going to be based off the 1977 animated series, which concerns me a little bit, as I think there's a ton more from the 66 universe they could do. Now let's check him out, next to some Skull Trooper figures. Here he is, next to McFarlane, the Fortnite Skull Trooper. This is a 7 inch scale figure, and this would work great for a Lord Deathman villain with your McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. 7 inch scale, and even also by McFarlane. And I did get 4 of these McFarlane Skull Trooper figures. At the time, I thought they could make for some pretty nice Scarecrow henchmen. Dressed in skeletons, kind of got that scary vibe going to them. 7 inch scale McFarlane toys fits in great with your DC Multiverse stuff. And here he is, next to the McFarlane Skull Trooper. This is the Green Glow version. This is a Walgreens exclusive. I also got four of these guys. I started something when I got four of the original Skull Trooper, then I made a variant, and I already got four of the original, and I was using them for an army builder, Scarecrow henchman, so I thought, 
Eh, what the hell. Let's get even more Scarecrow henchmen. Then, Jasper started making 6-inch scale Fortnite figures. McFarlane was still making the 7-inch scale Fortnite figures, but they stopped doing that shortly after. Jazzwares made a Skull Trooper. This is the purple version. To me, less desirable than the black and white version. But still, it's 6 inch scale. Fits in really good. Nice Lord Deathman here. And of course, I've got four of these guys also. Now, these are going to fit in with the McFarlane Decent Multiverse stuff. But I collect 6 inch and 7 inch scale action figures. I need henchmen for my 6 inch scale Scarecrow stuff as well. And now, here he is, next to the black and white Jazzwares 6 inch scale Skull Trooper. This is the best henchman and action figure to complement this Lord Deathman. And of course, I got four of them as well. This is the best version of the Skull Trooper in the 6 inch scale. And then of course, we have the McFarland version in the 7 inch scale. So you have a Lord Deathman or a Lord Deathman henchman for any occasion. And finally, here he is, next to the Jazzwares inverted Skull Trooper. It's basically the backwards version. It has white where the black should be, and black where the white should be, except for his face. And of course, I got four of those guys as well, because you can't just stop at that point. And here's my entire collection of Fortnite Skull Trooper figures. I've got 20 of them. It's a pretty hefty Scarecrow army. And you know what? It also works for a Lord Deathman army. And it can also work for Lord Deathman himself. Now, rumor was that Hasbro was going to be to go Skull Trooper, but it looks like their Fortnite license is dying. I don't know if the line's still going on or not. I hope they make one, but I'm skeptical at this point. Now let's check him out. Next is some action figures from different various companies, so we can see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you don't know which lines you can mix him with. Since he's a McFarlane 1966 retro figure, they're typically the 6-inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the smaller action figure lines I collect, and work way larger. Here he is, next to some Jazzwares Fortnite figures, and some SH figure arts action figures. And here he is, next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends, and some Mafex figures. Here's Lord Deathman, next to a spatula. Then, next to some Mattel, and some Mezco DC figures. And now, with some Jazzwares, and some Mattel wrestling figures. Here's Lord Deathman, next to some NECA, and some DC Direct figures. Then, next to some DST, or Diamond Select Toys, and some Jack specific wrestling figures. And finally, here he is, next to some 7 inch scale McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. We have Supergirl, Nightfall Batman, the Hush Batman with the Bat Raptor 2 pack, and then the Jokerized White Knight Batman. So, overall, I really like this Lord Deathman figure. Although I prefer the regular black and white version to the Platinum, he's really cool as well. It's green, he actually glows in the dark, which is very appropriate for a quote unquote spooky figure. I love these obscure villains, and I love the fact that someone has given us an officially licensed, legitimate Lord Deathman figure. And if you're more into the 7-inch multiverse scale, which I am, get you a McFarland Fortnite Skull Trooper. You don't even need to customize anything. He's perfect for Lord Deathman. Give him a cape if you want, but you don't even have to because he doesn't always wear a cape. So we're covered with 6-inch scale and 7-inch scale, and there's even army builders for them. Now, his accessory, the sword... It's pretty cool and appropriate for him. The cloth soft goods cape, it's a retro old school style, but better than most. His articulation, frankly, it sucks. Sculpt and paint job, just fine, no issues there. If I were to rate this figure, man, I want to give him like an 8 out of 10, but honestly, the figure itself is kind of crappy, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10. But I am really, really enjoying this figure. So happy the different characters the 66 line has given us. King Tut, Egghead, Lord Deathman, and I'm sure there are more on the horizon. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it in the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.